Sometimes you just want to punch a Volgus right in their ugly face. Well, I'm happy to report that you can. You can do this by utilizing your charge sub attacks, which acts as a melee attack that can have different effects depending on what module you are using and how you perform the attack. This is what we will be discussing in today's video. Let's start with the basics. No modules, just your Magister Gifted Fists. When the icon next to your grapple hook icon is highlighted, you are able to perform a charge sub attack for a nice bit of damage. This ability will have a short cooldown, but if you try to melee again during the cooldown, you'll perform a regular sub attack for significantly less damage. There are four different attack styles for these sub attacks. First, if you are close to the enemy and perform the attack, you'll just strike the enemy. Second, if you are a short distance away, you'll perform a small gap close before you strike. Third, you can sub attack while in the air for a slam attack, which also makes for a nice option if you're falling from a high distance and want to hit the ground quickly with no stagger. Fourth and final, you can do a sub attack while closing in with a grapple hook. These methods will all do the same damage, but will have different effects depending on your module. Currently, there are five different modules to choose from. There is Shock Punch, Kicking, Short Sword, Dual Claw, and Tomfa. Upgrading these modules won't increase their damage, rather increase your max capacity making room for other modules. This is very useful, so once you know which module will be your melee weapon of choice, max it out. Okay, so the damage numbers I will be showing is just to show how each module compares with one another. The exact values will differ between builds and character levels. Also, I couldn't find exact numbers for cooldowns, so judging based on the icon animation. Let's start with the Tomfa. Comparably speaking, the damage is very low, hitting here for 42,252 damage, which is actually less than if you didn't have any sub attack module equipped at all. If you attack while standing close or closing the gap, you will stagger the enemy. If you attack from the air or grapple hook, you will knock down the enemy. This roughly has a 6 second cooldown. Next up is the sword. Higher damage, hitting here for 58,683, but with almost no stagger time. Just like the Tanfa, you can knock down the enemy with a jump or grapple attack. This module has the shortest cooldown at about 5 seconds. Next is the kick. Even higher damage, hitting for 75,115 damage. You can knock down the enemy with a jump or grapple attack, while kicking up close or with a gap close will stagger the enemy. This roughly has a 6 second cooldown. Next is the dual claw, which is interesting since the claws apply bleed damage, but little stagger. The base attack is lower than kick at 61,031 damage, but then an additional 10 ticks of bleed adds 15,250 damage, put in slightly over kick for a damage total of 76,281. Now with the claws, only a grapple attack will knock down an enemy. This has roughly a 7 second cooldown. Finally, the shock punch module. Hitting hard for a whopping 93,894 damage, it has a good stagger and will knock down enemies with the gap close and grapple attacks, while staggering with a close or mid-air attack. This module has the longest cooldown at about 8 seconds. I personally really like the shock punch module for the high damage and knockdown on gap close. Let me know which melee module you like to run with and why in the comments. 